Today, I'm gonna recap 8 season of 2017 American horror series, called The Walking Dead. Attention survivors, close the doors because today's season is blazing. Don't sit alone in the dark. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all the latest. You can find the previous seasons in the pinned comment below the video. Let's not waste any time and set this party on fire. The militia, made up of folks from Alexandria, Hilltop, and the kingdom, gears up for war against the saviors. Rick, Maggie, and King Ezekiel lead their communities in an attack on the sanctuary. Meanwhile, Carol, Morgan, Tara, and Daryl guide a massive group of walkers towards the sanctuary, using distractions to control their movement. Soon after, Rick's crew reaches the sanctuary and fires warning shots. Negan steps out with his crew, Dwight, Simon, Gavin, Regina, and Eugene. After Negan taunts him, Rick offers the lieutenants a chance to surrender in life, but he makes it clear that he'll kill Negan. When none of the lieutenants accept the offer, Negan claims that Rick doesn't have the numbers to defeat the saviors and calls for Gregory, the hilltop leader, to come forward. Gregory comes out and declares Hilltop's loyalty to Negan, threatening to banish anyone from Hilltop who opposes the sanctuary. Jesus, speaking on behalf of all the Hilltop soldiers, shouts that they stand with Maggie, challenging Gregory's authority. Enraged, Simon, feeling useless, forcefully shoves Gregory down a flight of stairs. A savior caravan accidentally sets off a tripwire, causing an explosion heard at the sanctuary. Rick urges Negan's lieutenants to decide, but they stay silent. Rick begins a countdown, shooting at the sanctuary to attract the walkers. Negan flees while his lieutenants take cover inside. Amidst the chaos, Rick's team keeps shooting but eventually retreats to their cars for evacuation. Carol's group sends signals, and Gabriel positions their RV with explosives in front of the sanctuary fence. Using a garage door opener, Rick detonates the explosives, breaking the gate. Negan hides behind metal as Rick shoots at him, determined to kill him. Gabriel tells Rick to leave as planned. Before leaving, Rick takes a photo of Negan with an instant camera. As the herd approaches the sanctuary, Gabriel finds a wounded Gregory and pulls him to safety. Gregory panics and drives off in Gabriel's car. Surrounded by walkers, Gabriel seeks refuge in a box trailer, only to discover that Negan is inside too. In a strange scene, we see a very old Rick remembering a situation with his son. Rick and Carl find Siddick, a Middle Eastern man, begging for food. Rick scares him away, thinking he might be a spy for Negan. Carl returns later to leave food for Siddick. In another scene, Rick is alone in a forest, crying against a tree, reflecting on mercy and wrath. He mourns at two graves in the hilltop. An older Rick wakes up, greets Carl, Michon, and older Judith, and goes outside to a lively Alexandria preparing for a festival. Morgan, Tara, and Jesus surprise attack a radio telescope observatory, previously cleared of saviors. Morgan appears to be shot along with Andy and Freddy. Tara and Jesus find a man hiding in a closet, claiming to be a sanctuary worker. Tara wants to kill him, but Jesus wants to spare him. The man turns hostile, threatening Jesus. Tara and Jesus subdue him and tie him up. They later encounter other saviors who willingly surrender. Morgan, who was only knocked out, kills the remaining saviors in vengeance until Jesus stops him from harming the captives. King Ezekiel and Carol lead their forces to a savior pharmacy lab. They try to shoot the last savior but only injure him. The guard sets off a smoke bomb and releases trapped walkers. Ezekiel's group swiftly handles the walkers but the guard escapes. They follow his blood trail and come across a skinned walker, sparking Ezekiel's curiosity. They catch up with the guard, and Shiva the tiger kills him. Ezekiel motivates his troops to attack the nearby savior stronghold, even though the saviors are aware of their approach. Aaron and his boyfriend Eric lead an assault on a fortified warehouse filled with saviors. Francine is fatally shot during the firefight. Eric takes a risky move to flank the saviors. The battle is prolonged, and the saviors realize too late that the goal was to let the fallen victims turn into walkers and attack the remaining saviors. As the fight subsides, Aaron discovers that Eric has been shot in the stomach and rushes him to safety. With Aaron's help as a distraction, Rick and Daryl sneak into a town hall where they believe heavy machine guns are hidden. Their goal is to prevent the saviors from using the guns to clear out the walker horde. The place turns out to be empty, so they split up. Rick gets into a fight with a man guarding a specific door. Rick kills him and opens the door, only to find a sleeping baby, leaving him devastated. While distracted, Morales, a former member of Rick's group who now supports the Saviors, holds Rick at gunpoint. Inside the Savior office outpost, Morales and Rick have a lengthy conversation about their separate journeys. Morales lost his family, and Rick admits to losing many loved ones too. Morales swears loyalty to Negan and calls Rick a monster for his actions, but Rick tries to reason with him. Suddenly, Daryl appears and kills Morales without hesitation, despite recognizing him. Since they don't find any guns, they take the infant named Gracie and join forces with Aaron's group. Aaron's forces have trapped the saviors outside their stronghold, leaving them to deal with their reanimated comrades instead of fighting back. Aaron rescues his injured partner Eric, who insists on being left behind. Meanwhile, Morgan, Jesus, and Tara lead a group of captured saviors along a road. Jared, the savior who shot Morgan's student Benjamin, taunts Morgan, provoking him to aim his gun at Jared. 
Just as Jesus tries to intervene, a horde of walkers appears, allowing some saviors to escape. Morgan pursues and shoots at the escapees, killing one until Jesus and Tara intervene. Morgan and Jesus argue over how to handle the remaining saviors, but Tara breaks up the fight. Morgan walks away. At the hilltop, Gregory returns and pleads with Maggie to let him in. She demands to know what happened at the sanctuary since he's driving Gabriel's car. Gregory lies, claiming ignorance about Gabriel and says he was negotiating with Negan for the hilltop's benefit. Maggie doesn't trust him but allows him in, stating he's not worth killing. Jesus and Tara arrive with the remaining prisoners. Gregory tries to dissuade them from keeping the prisoners, but Maggie refuses to listen to him. Rick and Daryl join forces at the warehouse to confront the remaining saviors. Aaron discovers his reanimated partner Eric walking away into the woods and, in shock, decides to take Gracie back to the hilltop. A lone savior ambushes Rick and Daryl from behind a tree. Rick promises the man's survival in exchange for information. The man reveals that the guns have been moved to a new location, but before he can say more, Daryl kills him. Rick appears upset by Daryl's actions but remains silent. They proceed towards the new location of the guns. In another part of town, Carol and King Ezekiel lead their army to attack a nearby savior outpost. They achieve victory without any apparent casualties. However, hidden saviors surprise them by opening fire with the same heavy machine guns that Rick was searching for. In a flashback, King Ezekiel rallies his troops from the kingdom, Alexandria, and hilltop communities before heading out to war against the saviors. He delivers an inspiring speech to boost morale. In the present, Ezekiel emerges from a pile of dead kingdom soldiers. His troops sacrifice themselves to protect him from a savior assault that utilized the machine guns Rick and Daryl were seeking. With a wounded leg and the dead starting to turn into walkers, Ezekiel is saved by a surviving kingdom soldier named Alvaro. They try to find safety, but Alvaro is fatally shot by a savior named Gunther. Gunther captures Ezekiel, intending to hand him over to Negan for a reward. Holding Ezekiel at gunpoint, Gunther leads him toward a fence complex to escape the approaching walkers. Along the way, Gunther taunts Ezekiel, mocking that even in death, his men still follow him. Upon reaching the locked gate of the complex, Gunther prepares to decapitate Ezekiel, but Jerry appears and swiftly kills Gunther with a single swing of his axe. Jerry then helps Ezekiel up, and together they defend themselves while attempting to break the lock. In a nearby outpost, Carol surprises the saviors who are moving the machine guns and takes out several of them. The remaining saviors try to escape with the guns in a humby, leading to a firefight near Ezekiel and Jerry. Carol manages to deceive the saviors, eliminating all but two of them. However, she notices that Ezekiel and Jerry are in danger of being overwhelmed by walkers. She rushes to their aid, allowing the saviors to escape in the humby. Ezekiel is disappointed that Carol let the guns slip away, but then they hear the sound of a motorcycle nearby. Rick and Daryl arrive and give chase, eventually forcing the Humvee off the road. Back at the outpost, Carol, Jerry, and Ezekiel navigate through a growing horde of walkers, running low on ammunition. They reach a creek filled with walkers, posing a challenge for Ezekiel due to his injury. Carol and Jerry insist that Ezekiel keeps moving, but he decides to stay behind and sacrifice himself to fight off the walkers. Overwhelmed with emotions, he confides in Jerry, saying he's just an ordinary person and not deserving of being a leader. Suddenly, Ezekiel's pet tiger, Shiva, appears and fiercely attacks the walkers. Unfortunately, Shiva sacrifices herself in the process, leaving Ezekiel devastated and angry. Carol and Jerry tearfully lead Ezekiel away from the scene. Eventually, the three of them reach the gates of the kingdom, where the families of the fallen soldiers gather to hear news. However, Ezekiel is unable to find the words and silently walks away. In a flashback, Gabriel prays for purpose in church, while at the sanctuary, Gregory negotiates with Negan and his savior crew, Dwight, Simon, Gavin, Regina, and Eugene. Gregory offers to exile any Hilltop resident who supports Rick, and Simon suggests wiping out Hilltop, but Negan reminds them they're valuable. The meeting is interrupted by Rick's attack on the sanctuary. In the present, Gabriel and Negan find themselves trapped in a trailer surrounded by walkers. Negan engages Gabriel in conversation, sharing stories to gain his trust. Meanwhile, Rick and Daryl question a dying Yego about the previous battle. Yego reveals the deaths of most Kingdom Militia members, except for Ezekiel, Jerry, and Carol. Rick euthanizes Yego to prevent reanimation. Meanwhile, the Savior Lieutenants think Negan is dead and discuss how to handle the power vacuum. Gavin suggests inside information may have aided the Militia's attack. Dwight, who provided Rick with intel, diverts the discussion to address worker unrest, knowing rebellion is a risk. They adjourn and Eugene notices a new chess set in Dwight's room, leaving a gift of appreciation. As Gabriel pushes Negan for more information and a genuine confession, he seizes Negan's gun and escapes to a nearby room in the trailer. Negan proposes teamwork, and Gabriel, reflecting on his congregation's betrayal, agrees if Negan truly confesses. Negan admits to infidelity. They work together, using Walker's guts as camouflage, until their cover is blown and they must fight their way out. Rick seizes the weapons and the Savior's truck they intercepted from returning to Sanctuary. 
He and Daryl clash over how to handle the weapons, with Daryl favoring using them against the saviors and Rick seeking a more compassionate approach. Their disagreement escalates into a brawl, accidentally leading to a bag of dynamite hitting the truck and obliterating both it and the weapons. Daryl refuses to give Rick a ride back to Alexandria, leaving Rick to make the journey on foot to the scavengers. In the compound, Simon decides to conserve resources by cutting off the sanctuary's power. Workers protest and demand to see Negan, but chaos erupts when a worker reaches for a gun and is swiftly killed. Negan and Gabriel arrive, restoring order, and the workers retreat. Negan orders Gabriel to be locked up. The saviors find stolen weapons among the workers, and Eugene discovers a paint spot matching Dwight's chest set. Negan asks Eugene to find a solution for the walkers around the sanctuary. Eugene finds Gabriel sick from using walker guts and calls for medical help. Following the war against Negan, Rick, Maggie, and Carol exchange reports and plan the next phase. Aaron returns to Hilltop with baby Gracie. Jesus guards the captured saviors at the community's fence, and Rick meets with Janis at the scavenger's base. Maggie is disappointed that Jesus is using their supplies to feed the prisoners, while Gregory suggests hanging them. Jesus argues against killing the prisoners, reminding them not to stoop to the saviors' level. Maggie decides to imprison the saviors in a makeshift cage, allowing them inside as long as they behave. Despite Gregory's protests, she puts him in the pen with the saviors as she doesn't trust him either. Jesus privately thanks Maggie for sparing the saviors, but she sees them as potential bargaining tools. In the kingdom, Ezekiel isolates himself, refusing to be seen. Carol prepares able-bodied residents for Rick's plan and reluctantly allows Benjamin's younger brother, Henry, to join. Carol later approaches Ezekiel urging him to resume his leadership role, even if it's just an act. Ezekiel remains reluctant and tells her to leave him be. At the scavenger's base, Rick shows Jaddy's photos of their victories and offers to collaborate in the war, but she refuses. Left with no choice, Rick is imprisoned in a shipping container, stripped down to his boxers. In Alexandria, Michon feels responsible for the war and wants to know what's happening. Rosita agrees to accompany her to the sanctuary. Tara is surprised to find Daryl waiting on her porch, determined to take independent action. They discuss killing Dwight together instead of waiting until after the war. Outside Alexandria, Carl encounters Siddick while scavenging. Carl apologizes for Rick's past hostility and offers him food and water. Carl tests Siddick with Rick's three questions and decides to bring him to Alexandria, vouching for him. They are attacked by walkers, but Carl defeats them and they continue their journey unharmed. On the way to the sanctuary, Michon and Rosita encounter two saviors loading a truck with speakers to distract the walkers. They kill one, while the other escapes with the truck. Daryl and Tara collide with the truck, killing the remaining savior. The group proceeds to the sanctuary, where the walkers still surround the compound. Daryl decides it's time for action. At the Hilltop's library, Aaron confides in Maggie about his grief, and she empathizes with him. Inspired by Maggie's words, Aaron embarks on a personal mission, and Enid offers to accompany him, which he accepts. Rick tries to negotiate his release with Jannies of the Scavengers, but she refuses once again. Jaddy's proceeds to take pictures of Rick's half-naked body from different angles for a sculpture she plans to make of him. Inside the sanctuary, Eugene wrestles with a dilemma as he knows Dwight is the traitor who aided Rick's plan. Gabriel, held captive by Negan, urges Eugene to make the right choice to assist the united communities of Alexandria, Hilltop, and Kingdom. Outside the sanctuary, Daryl, Tara, Michon, and Rosita devise a plan to crash a garbage truck into the compound's walls, allowing the surrounding walkers to infiltrate and attack the saviors. Morgan overhears their conversation and offers his support, along with his group of snipers following Rick's orders. Rosita grows hesitant about defying Rick's plan and departs, while Michon remains uncertain, recognizing that the current situation contains the saviors. Later, Negan calls for Eugene's update on the plan to eliminate the walkers surrounding the sanctuary. If successful, Eugene will become Negan's second-in-command. Eugene proposes a glider drone with a speaker to lure the walkers away, but he must first retrieve an iPod from Sasha's coffin, reliving painful memories. Despite Dwight's warning, Eugene launches the drone, but Dwight shoots it down. Daryl drives a truck into the sanctuary walls, allowing the walkers to flood in. Eugene, angry, decides to remain loyal to Nigan and keeps Dwight's betrayal a secret. He gets drunk in his room to drown out the gunfire. Eventually, Eugene presents Nigan with a bold plan to escape the sanctuary using a large amount of ammunition. Rick is taken out of the storage container and brought to the center of the junkyard by a scavenger. Jaddy's presents a lightly armored walker for Rick's execution, but Rick turns the tables and threatens Jaddy's. She relents and lets him go. Rick strikes a deal with the scavengers, offering them a share of the spoils from the saviors if they join him. However, Jaddy's wants to assess the situation at the sanctuary first. Rick leads the scavengers to the compound and discovers an empty yard with a damaged wall, leaving him alarmed. After Daryl and Tara's unintentional attack on the sanctuary, Savior lookouts attack Rick, Jaddies, and the scavengers. Carol and Jerry come to Rick's rescue, and they split up to warn the allied communities. With the sanctuary back under their control, 
Megan and the Saviors launch a counterattack against the militia. In Alexandria, Carl reflects on recent events and writes a letter to his father. Aaron and Enid plan to reconcile with the Oceanside community by bringing them a truck full of alcohol from a nearby brewery, which they had taken their guns from to fight the Saviors. While waiting outside at night, Aaron is attacked, but Enid comes to his rescue and accidentally shoots Natania, the leader of Oceanside. They find themselves surrounded by other Oceanside members, and Cindy mourns her grandmother. Meanwhile, at Alexandria, Carl is about to deliver food to Siddick when Negan arrives and demands the community surrender. Carl confronts Negan and offers his own life in exchange for sparing Alexandria. This diversion allows the residents to escape into the sewers. Daryl, Michon, Tara, and Reseda create distractions by driving trucks into the walls and through a poorly arranged savior roadblock set up by Dwight, leading to a chase. Maggie, Jesus, and a large group of hilltop residents are en route to the sanctuary to join forces with the Alexandrians in hopes of convincing the saviors to surrender. However, a group of saviors intercepts them, capturing Jerry on the way. Simon, a savior, approaches Maggie's car and demands that she hand over their firearms or face consequences. Reluctantly, Maggie agrees to surrender the weapons. As they prepare to return to the hilltop, Simon shoots and kills one of the people in Maggie's car as a punishment. Back at the hilltop, Maggie executes one of the savior prisoners as retribution and orders the community to strengthen its defenses. Meanwhile, at the kingdom, Gavin and a large group of saviors gather the residents for an announcement. Gavin claims ownership of the kingdom and its resources, stating that the residents will be taken to the sanctuary for repairs and that the saviors will make the kingdom their new home. Ezekiel, however, creates a diversion that allows the residents to escape into the nearby woods. Furious at Carl's trick, Negan orders his crew to launch grenades, causing widespread destruction in Alexandria. They storm the community, while Carl uses smoke bombs as a distraction and escapes to the sewers. Meanwhile, Daryl's group sets up an ambush for the pursuing saviors, with Dwight turning against his own people. However, Laura catches Dwight in the act and shoots him before fleeing. In the chaos, Dwight joins Daryl's team, and they all head into the sewers as Alexandria burns. Michon stays above ground. At the sanctuary, Eugene helps Gabriel and Dr. Harlan Carson escape to the hilltop colony, though Gabriel's condition worries Eugene. In the kingdom, Carol encounters Ezekiel, who locks himself in to confront the saviors alone, observed by Morgan from a distance. Amidst the chaos, Rick arrives and finds the town engulfed in flames. He desperately searches for Michon, Carl, and Judith, only to confront Negan at his house. They engage in a fierce fight, but Rick, badly injured, manages to escape and reunites with Michon in the sewers. They join the surviving Alexandrians and discover Carl, exhausted and sweaty, revealing a walker bite on his abdomen. Overwhelmed with grief, Rick and Michon comfort Carl as they face the grim reality of what lies ahead. After Negan and the Saviors attack Alexandria, the kingdom, and the hilltop, Rick and his crew face the aftermath. In a flashback, Carl conceals his walker bite, takes Siddick to the sewers, spends time with Judith, and writes letters to loved ones. In the present, Carol guides the survivors away from the kingdom, while she goes back to rescue Ezekiel. Henry insists on joining but is told to stay with the others. Rick, Michon, and the Alexandria survivors regroup in the sewers, learning of Carl's impending death. They plan to wait for Negan's assault to end before heading to the hilltop. Rick stays with Carl, knowing he won't survive. Daryl praises Carl for his survival mindset. Carl and Rick have heartfelt conversations, addressing past regrets and seeking forgiveness. Carol reunites with Morgan, who escaped the Savior's attack on the sanctuary snipers. However, Morgan's bitterness grows, and his actions inside the kingdom become ruthless. He brutally kills a Savior in front of Carol and Ezekiel. The last remaining Savior, Gavin, tries to hide, but Morgan quickly finds him. Carol intervenes, sensing Morgan's inner conflict and urges him to spare Gavin. Henry, seeking revenge for his brother's murder, unexpectedly kills Gavin. While Rick and Michon take Carl to the church, Carl shares his vision of a better future for Rick, a compassionate leader devoted to family and Alexandria's prosperity. In this dream, all survivors, including Negan, work together harmoniously. The following morning, Carl, near death, insists that Rick and Michon leave. He chooses to end his own life, sparing them from having to do it themselves. Rick and Michon prepare a burial site to honor Carl's final wish. After Carl's burial, Rick and Michon gather their remaining supplies from Alexandria and abandon the community as walkers overrun it. They come across a gazebo Carl loved, but Rick convinces Michon to leave it behind to the flames. On their journey, Rick reflects on Carl's words and decides to visit Jaddies and the scavengers, who witnessed the events at the sanctuary. At the sanctuary, Negan commands his men to search for the Alexandria residents. He assigns Simon to approach the scavengers with his usual offer, which involves killing one of them as an example. Negan emphasizes the value of people as resources to be saved. Suddenly, they receive a box from the hilltop community with a message to stand down. Inside the box is the reanimated body of Dean, one of Simon's men. Elsewhere, Enid and Aaron are captured by the Oceanside community for killing their leader, Natania. Cindy, Natania's granddaughter, 
listens to Enid's pleas and decides to spare their lives, but forbids them from returning. Once outside Oceanside, Aaron urges Enid to go back to the hilltop and inform them about the situation, while he plans to convince Oceanside to offer their assistance. Simon, unhappy with Negan's approach and aware that the hilltop has captured the rest of his 38 men, confronts Jaddy's at the scavenger's junkyard. He accuses her of breaking their deal with the saviors, but offers to return to the original terms if she surrenders their guns. Jaddy's reluctantly agrees. But Simon feels she lacks remorse and kills her lieutenants, Tamiel and Brian. Jaddy's retaliates with a punch, prompting Simon to order his men to kill the remaining scavengers. Later, Simon reports to Negan, pretending everything went smoothly, despite paint stains on his shoe from the scuffle. When Rick and Michon reach the junkyard, all the scavengers, except Jaddy's, have turned into walkers. They find Jaddy's alone, no longer aloof. She reveals her past as an artist who used the junkyard for her work. Jaddy's explains how the scavengers used the isolation of the junkyard as their sanctuary. Rick blames Jaddy's for betraying the group and aligning with the saviors, leading to the scavengers' demise. Seeing Jaddy's as useless and tired of her double crosses, Rick and Michon decide to leave her behind. Jaddy's pleads to join them, but Rick fires a warning shot to scare her off. Jaddy's lures the remaining walkers into an industrial shredder, tearfully witnessing the destruction of her former companions. Driving away, Rick clarifies to Michon that he fired the warning shot to get rid of Jaddy's, not to kill her. Michon interprets this as Carl's message about sparing lives. Rick pulls over, reads Carl's letters privately, and discovers one addressed to Negan. Feeling inclined to reach out to Negan, Rick informs him of Carl's death and his son's plea for an end to the fighting. Negan receives the news with sadness, but Rick remains determined to fight and defeat Negan. Negan argues that Carl's death was a result of Rick's obsession with the war and claims he saves people while Rick fails as both a leader and a father. Negan demands Rick to stop fighting, claiming he has already lost. Daryl, with Reseda, Tara, and Siddick's assistance, leads the survivors from the destroyed Alexandria safe zone to the hilltop. They carefully avoid savior patrols on Negan's orders. Dwight, a former savior who has aided the Alexandrians, guides them using his knowledge of the area, although some remain wary of his advice due to his past allegiance with the saviors. Dr. Harlan Carson helps Gabriel, who is ill and suffering from fever-induced vision problems, to escape the sanctuary. Despite Dr. Carson's advice, Gabriel relies on his faith in God and leads them to an abandoned house where they find antibiotics for his fever. However, Gabriel still needs additional help to prevent blindness. They also discover car keys and a map to Hilltop after accidentally breaking open a piggy bank. Daryl's group determines that the safest route is through a swamp. Daryl assigns Tara to protect the survivors while he, Reseda, and Siddick kill the submerged walkers. Tara tricks Dwight into helping them, but her true intention is to separate him from the group and kill him as revenge for Denise's death. Dwight pleads for mercy, confessing his remorse, but Tara fires a shot and he flees. However, as they catch up to him, they spot a group of approaching saviors. Dwight acts as if he escaped and reunites with the saviors, leading them away from the Alexandria group. Tara trusts Dwight now and believes he won't betray them to Negan. When Tara returns to the group, Daryl expresses concern that Dwight might inform Negan, but Tara assures them of her trust in Dwight's loyalty. Morgan and Carol confront Henry about his lack of remorse for killing Gavin at the hilltop. Meanwhile, Maggie assesses their limited resources considering cutting off the savior prisoners and Gregory due to insufficient supplies. Daryl's group arrives at the hilltop, bringing news of Carl's death that deeply affects the community, especially Enid. Maggie decides to grant the saviors limited rations and supervised time outside their cage. Siddick offers his medical services to Maggie. Gabriel follows Dr. Carson outside and realizes the area is trapped. Dr. Carson steps into a bear trap, attracting walkers. Despite his impaired vision, Gabriel manages to avoid the traps and walkers, rescuing Dr. Carson. However, a group of saviors discovers them and takes them captive. During the capture, Dr. Carson is killed while trying to reach for a guard's gun. Gabriel becomes distraught and is taken away by the saviors. At the sanctuary, Gabriel is assigned to work with Eugene in the ammunition manufacturing process for Negan's upcoming offensive. When Eugene informs Negan that the ammo won't be fully supplied for several more days and suggests using catapults instead, Negan proposes infecting weapons with walker blood. This way, they can turn their enemies with minimal harm rather than killing them in the upcoming attack. Negan prepares the saviors for an attack on the hilltop by coating their weapons with walker blood and guts. Dwight struggles to conceal his allegiance to Rick and his group from Negan and Simon as the saviors head towards hilltop. Meanwhile, Rick and Michon return to the hilltop to regroup. Daryl apologizes to Rick for unintentionally facilitating the saviors' takeover of Sanctuary, leading to attacks on other communities. Rick acknowledges the inadequacy of his plan to wait for the saviors' surrender. The two continue to scout around Hilltop, leaving Maggie in charge. Maggie notices empty crates outside the community and discovers a note requesting supplies and vinyl records in exchange for a promised key to aid them. Although cautious, Maggie, Michon, Reseda, and Enid decide to comply and find out who is offering assistance. Outside Hilltop's walls, 
Rick spots the Savior's convoy and gives chase, slamming into Negan's car. They race through a deserted town until Negan's car flips over. Negan takes refuge in an abandoned building with Rick in pursuit, followed by walkers. Rick tries to kill Negan with a hatchet, but Negan evades and falls into the basement. Rick follows and discovers Negan's bat, Lucille, in the dark basement. Negan offers a truce, reducing the Savior's resource demands, but Rick refuses to trust him after the scavenger's fate. Rick sets Lucille on fire to lure Negan out, and they fight amidst the walkers. Negan retrieves Lucille, escapes, and Rick loses track of him. At the meeting point, Maggie's group encounters Georgie, along with Hilda and Midge, who offer knowledge in exchange for supplies. Maggie decides to keep them at Hilltop temporarily. While discussing their options, Enid suggests turning Georgie away, but Michon convinces Maggie to fulfill her request. In return, Georgie offers food and plans for building structures like windmills, envisioning a thriving hilltop. As Georgie departs, Enid confesses to Michon that she killed Natanya, the leader of Oceanside, and is uncertain about making the right choices. In the chaos, Simon commands the saviors to surround the area while he and Dwight search for Negan. Simon proposes the idea that Negan might be dead, suggesting they seize control of the saviors to strengthen the group. They find Negan's flipped car, but instead of searching for him, Dwight sets it ablaze. They return to their men, and Simon takes charge, claiming Negan may be dead and announcing his plan to wipe out the other communities. Meanwhile, Jaddies holds Negan captive at gunpoint. Alone in the woods, Morgan experiences visions of Gavin, the deceased savior lieutenant he wanted to kill but couldn't, as Henry took care of it. Morgan attacks Gavin before realizing it's a hallucination. With Negan missing, Simon leads the savior's convoy to Hilltop, intending to exterminate survivors instead of coercing them. Hilltop scouts spot the convoy, and the community prepares for an imminent attack. Maggie warns Simon over the walkie-talkie, threatening to execute the Savior prisoners if they attack. Simon dismisses the prisoners as no longer part of the Saviors, upsetting them. As they exchange words, Daryl arrives on his motorcycle and opens fire with a machine gun, forcing the Saviors to launch their attack on Hilltop, igniting the battle. Prepared for the attack, Hilltop soldiers engage the Saviors from fortified positions, eliminating several of their members. Amidst the chaos, Simon and Dwight maneuver behind the attackers. Inside the community, Simon targets Tara, but Dwight, who secretly opposes the saviors, shoots her with an untainted arrow, saving her from Simon's clutches. Meanwhile, Rick and his forces storm in from the outside, driving out the remaining saviors. Rick admits to Maggie that he tried to kill Negan before the attack but failed, feeling partly responsible for its outcome. The following day, the Hilltop community mourns their dead and cares for the wounded, unaware that the saviors contaminated their weapons with walker gore. Among the injured is Tobin, Carol's former boyfriend from Alexandria. Daryl accuses Tara of trusting Dwight despite his past alliance with Simon's group, but Tara insists that Dwight remains loyal to them. That night, the infected, Tobin, Kevin, and Wesley, turn into walkers due to the tainted blood and attack the sleeping residents of Hilltop. The kingdom's doctors, Dana and Kurt, and others are killed by the walkers. The remaining residents swiftly defend themselves, with Carol saving Bertie by killing the reanimated Tobin. They realize the saviors contaminated their weapons with walker blood. Bruce, infected with walker blood, pleads to be put down before turning. Meanwhile, Henry confronts the savior prisoners, seeking his brother's killer. When they remain silent, Henry enters the pen, but one of the prisoners, also infected, attacks them. In the chaos, Jared seizes Henry's gun and escapes with the other saviors and Gregory. At dawn, Maggie oversees more burials and discovers the missing savior prisoners. Some, led by Alden, offer to stay and assist Hilltop despite remaining prisoners. Additionally, Carol and Morgan search for the missing Henry. In a flashback, Jaddies pretends to be dead to survive the scavengers massacre by Simon and the saviors. In the present, she collects Negan as her captive, carrying Lucille in a suitcase. Negan apologizes for the scavenger's fate, acknowledging Simon's betrayal, but Jaddies remains resolute and threatens him. While Jaddies is away, Negan gains access to her suitcase, containing a gun and her personal pictures. He uses them as leverage to make her talk. Negan shares the story behind his bat, named after his late wife, Lucille, which is his only connection to his past. Jaddies' watch beeps, prompting her to rush for a flare, but it gets knocked away and extinguished. Jaddies tries to signal a helicopter with a second flare, but it's too late. Overwhelmed, she releases Negan despite his offer to join him on a new path. Meanwhile, the Hilltop community regroups after the Savior's attack. Tara fails to convince Daryl of Dwight's loyalty. Michon urges Rick to read Carl's final message, but he can't bring himself to do it. Instead, Rick decides to find the escaped savior prisoners, with Alden suggesting they check a nearby bar. Morgan blames himself for Henry's disappearance and joins Carol in the search. They discover a walker with Henry's weapon and assume he's dead. Morgan continues down the road while Carol follows the walker's direction. Morgan reunites with Rick and warns him of an approaching walker horde. However, they are captured by the escaped saviors led by Jared. In the bar, the saviors argue, and Rick and Morgan's warning comes too late as walkers swarm in. 
They break free, and Rick eliminates the remaining saviors while Morgan confronts and traps Jared with walkers. Rick asks Morgan what changed him since their first meeting, and Morgan attributes it to his son. Meanwhile, Carol rescues Henry and brings him back to the hilltop. Morgan informs Henry that he killed Jared, and although Henry apologizes, Morgan advises him never to apologize and walks away. Rick reads Carl's letter with tears in his eyes. Daryl and Rosita find the Savior's ammo factory where Eugene is aiding the supply. They plan to eliminate the factory's leaders to stop the ammunition flow. Meanwhile, Negan encounters someone familiar and offers them a ride. Upon Negan's return to the sanctuary, the gate guards are surprised to see him alive and he instructs them to keep his presence a secret. At the Hilltop Colony, Rick reads his late son Carl's letter, urging him to end the war with Negan and rebuild a peaceful society. Inside the sanctuary, Gregory tries to reconcile with Simon, who has taken charge in Negan's absence. Gregory offers assistance with securing other communities, but Simon puts him to work instead. In the woods near Oceanside, Aaron tries to convince Cindy and the others to join the fight against the saviors. Despite his desperate state, they reject his pleas. After surviving a walker attack, Aaron returns exhausted and urges them to overcome their fear of the outside world and stand against the saviors. Meanwhile, Eugene supervises the saviors' ammunition production. Gabriel, who has purposely sabotaged the bullets, is dismissed due to his illness. Daryl and Rosita ambush and overpower Eugene's guards, taking him captive. Their plan is to keep him locked up to utilize his intelligence. While Daryl deals with approaching walkers, Eugene induces himself to vomit on Rosita, allowing him to escape. Outside the sanctuary, Dwight, keeping his allegiance to the militia a secret, is surprised by Negan's return. Dwight tries to explain what happened, but Negan dismisses it, emphasizing loyalty to the saviors. Later, Negan holds a meeting with his lieutenants. Simon apologizes for the hilltop incident, but Negan reveals that he knows Simon was responsible for the massacre at Oceanside. Simon is initially punished but then forgiven by Negan, who orders sniper nests to be set up around the hilltop. After the meeting, Negan praises Dwight for his loyalty. In his apartment, Dwight marks a map for Rick and writes a message about Negan's attack plan. An anxious Simon visits Dwight and proposes overthrowing Negan, and Dwight agrees to meet with him later to plan the coup. In the courtyard, Dwight meets with Simon, along with other saviors who want to eliminate Negan. Simon explains his plan to take down Negan and offers Dwight the opportunity to kill him. However, Dwight unexpectedly whistles, alerting Negan to their presence. Negan appears and loyal saviors hidden in the vicinity execute all the conspirators, except Simon and Gregory. Negan confronts Simon for the scavenger's massacre and disobedience. Despite this, Negan challenges Simon to a fight for leadership. In the sanctuary, Negan and Simon engage in a brutal fist fight. Negan eventually overpowers Simon, while Dwight takes the chance to give Gregory the map and a vehicle for escape. Gregory runs off. Negan strangles Simon to death, expressing his anger and disappointment. He asserts that any chance for peace is ruined and that he will have to kill everyone. Afterward, Gregory returns to Hilltop but is imprisoned by Maggie. Maggie then gives Rick the map provided by Dwight. Walking Dwight to his room, Negan offers him the position of his new right-hand man, which Dwight accepts. However, inside the room, Negan reveals that he has brought Laura, a savior who witnessed Dwight's betrayal. Negan confronts Dwight about his treachery and reveals that he knows Dwight was behind the attacks on the savior outposts. He informs Dwight that the map he gave to Rick is a decoy that will lead the militia into a trap. Negan spares Dwight's life but has other plans for him. Meanwhile, Eugene returns to the ammunition factory with a renewed determination to meet Negan's bullet production requirements. After chaining a turn Simon to the sanctuary fence, Negan receives a message from Mitch on over a walkie-talkie. She reads Carl's letter, urging Negan to end the war peacefully. However, Negan rejects the plea, stating that Rick has pushed him too far and that forgiveness is not an option. He vows to kill Mitch on, Rick, and the entire militia, ending the communication by crushing the walkie-talkie under his foot. At the hilltop, Rick and his crew prepare for their attack on the saviors. Rick has flashbacks of a pre-apocalypse day mentioned in Carl's letter, where a young Carl led him down a country road. Rick tends to Gracie and learns from Siddick that Carl was bitten while honoring Siddick's mother. Rick, Michon, Daryl, and Maggie review the savior plans delivered by Gregory on Dwight's behalf and prepare to investigate, unaware that Negan planted them as a trap. Meanwhile, Morgan starts hallucinating and almost harms Henry before Carol intervenes. At the sanctuary, Eugene presents his homemade ammunition to Negan and suggests using a firing line tactic against Rick's army. Negan sends a decoy group to set up a roadblock while he, Gabriel, Eugene, and the others proceed on their true course. Negan confesses to Gabriel that he sacrificed the roadblock group as part of the plan, knowing Rick would eliminate them. He reveals they have false intel from Dwight, which will lead Rick's group into an ambush. Gabriel tries to escape the moving vehicle to warn Rick, but is caught by Eugene. Rick's crew eliminates the predicted roadblock, but Morgan brutally kills a surrendering savior, prompting Jesus to advise against killing so readily. Following the map, they come across a massive walker horde in the distance but continue forward. They arrive in a large field where Negan taunts them over a paw system. 
Negan holds Gabriel hostage, reveals Dwight's capture, and announces his armed forces. As Negan counts down, saviors line up on the ridge, ready to attack. However, Eugene's faulty ammo causes their weapons to backfire, injuring or killing many, including Negan, and rendering the guns useless. Amidst the gunfight, Gabriel and Dwight overpower their captors, forcing Negan to flee with his bat luso. Many saviors are killed in the shootout, while the rest surrender and drop their weapons. Simultaneously, a smaller savior convoy arrives at the hilltop. The residents escape through a secret passage to the woods behind the community. Tara and Alden stay behind to delay the saviors, but they are unexpectedly ambushed by Molotov cocktails thrown by the Oceanside community, led by Cindy and Aaron. In the field, Rick chases Negan to a tree with stained glass windows. Rick shoots and cracks one of them. Negan attacks Rick with Lucille, and they struggle until Negan gains the upper hand. Negan confesses that he wanted to kill Rick when they first met but couldn't in front of Carl. Rick proposes an alternative, urging Negan to consider a peaceful future for both of them in Carl's memory. Negan appears to listen and becomes emotional, seizing the opportunity. Rick uses a shard of glass to cut Negan's throat while the groups watch from afar. Rick instructs Siddick to save him, causing Maggie's anguish as she wanted Negan dead for Glenn's murder. Mitchon restrains Maggie while Rick declares that they will build a new world living in harmony, and that the real enemy is the walkers. He emphasizes the need for all communities, including the saviors, to unite in order to survive. As everyone departs, Rick leans against the tree and tearfully whispers to himself, My mercy prevails over my wrath. The survivors regroup at their communities. Alden commits to staying at the hilltop and assisting with the inventions from Georgie's book. The Oceanside group revitalizes the sanctuary in exchange for supplies given to the hilltop. Daryl drives Dwight deep into the woods, where Dwight apologizes and believes he deserves death. Instead, Daryl gives him the truck keys and instructs him to leave, warning him never to return or face certain death, urging him to find his wife Sherry and make amends. Dwight discovers a recent note from Sherry at their old home. Morgan visits Jaddy's at the junkyard and invites her to join their community. Morgan chooses to remain alone at the junkyard, as he feels he can't be around people anymore. In her office at the hilltop, Maggie meets privately with Jesus and Daryl. They believe Rick and Michon made a mistake by sparing Negan's life and discuss rectifying this one's hilltop as stronger. Rick and Michon inform a recovering Negan that he will spend his life in prison while their community flourishes. Gabriel returns to the burnt church in Alexandria and expresses gratitude to God for guiding him towards the light. Rick reads his letter to Carl, acknowledging the shared memory and expressing gratitude for Carl's guidance. 